Good day in the kitchen again and going to be making another loaf recipe. This time we're going to be using a method called the overnight sponge method and basically what that is is it's mixing some of your flour with some of your water and some yeast and letting that sit all night and then carrying on making the bread in the morning. What that does is it basically starts breaking down the, the glutens with a really long rise, but a slow rise overnight because we're not using a, a lot of yeast. You can use instant yeast if you want. We're using activated yeast. Normally you would put activated yeast into water and let it activate and froth as you've seen us do before, but I'm not doing that for the overnight sponge. I've found there's very little difference between doing that and just bunging it all together. So I'm gonna crack on now and show you exactly what we're doing. Oh, the equipment, I should say the equipment. We're using our mixing bowl, obviously, set of scales, water, activated yeast, flour, bread flour, teaspoon, and a spoon to stir it all together. I'm starting by adding just zero that. Starting by adding 200 grams of bread flour. That's it. Half a teaspoon of our active yeast. and now putting in 200 grams of water. Mixing this together. to get all the flour from around the side it's all nicely mixed clean the spoon again make sure you have clean fingers before you do this And we're now going to cover this with a tea towel and leave it overnight for, well, it's 10 o'clock now. We'll be looking at it at eight o'clock in the morning. Be back to you tomorrow. This is now the following morning. This has been rising for about 12, about 10 hours now and it's the overnight sponge method. Now the overnight sponge method you effectively break down quite a lot of the gluten and bacteria gets working quite quickly and you end up with a loaf with a bit more flavour, a bit more aroma, a nicer softer crumb and because everything has been working together for a while when you put the rest of the flour and water in it sort of is going to give it a kick start and we're going to save about an hour in today's preparation time having done that five minutes of prep last night so now I'm going to show you inside the bowl hopefully you can see that there's quite a lot of pocking on the surface of the sponge here and if we just lift it you can see that that has risen quite a lot of air has got in there which is what we want so the bacteria has really worked the gluten has loosened down and now what we're going to do is add the balance of our liquid what I've done is I've put 
half a teaspoon of yeast in here with 120 grams of warm water. Just let that we let that sit for 15 minutes. Now we're adding that in. Just break that up a little bit. This is going to go in the mixer and have a good mix, but let's just break it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to zero this again and we're adding the balance of the flour which in this case is 350 grams of flour, bread flour. We're now going to put this into our mixer and follow the same process as we have done previously. We'll put a link to our first loaf recipe. We're going to mix this all together for just about a minute. Then we're going to let it auto lies, which again will help the glutens start working, the yeast start working together in the new flour and the new yeast that we've put in here. Then we're going to knead it for five minutes with the dough hook. We're going to let it rise for 30 minutes. Then we're going to knead it again for five minutes. Then we're going to shape it and let it rise for 30 minutes. So effectively we're saving about an hour's time this morning in doing this. This is now risen fully, you can see. Just going to slash it and then we're putting it into our oven. Okay. That's it. So we'll have a look at it when it's cooked. Can you hear the crackle? Here we have our final shot of our overnight sponge mixer bread recipe. This is our bog standard recipe but using the overnight sponge method i'm just gonna you see it's quite a nice crust i'm just gonna come over here Okay, sorry if my shadow got in the way then. Nice soft crumb here. Good crunchy crust. Really soft crumb. I think you can see that. Just tear it. Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy with that. There we are our overnight sponge using our normal recipe ingredients. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, please do ask and um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications. Thanks very much. Bye.